I'd like to talk about uh, Dr. John Sinfeld, uh, a close friend, now deceased, but played a major role in my life. In fact, is a real good example of what I call the theory of giants. And I'd like to say something about that. John was one of the top scientists uh, in industry uh, and his specialty was catalytic science. Everybody knows what a catalyst, something that speeds up chemical and biological re reactions. Uh, perhaps you may not know that um, more than 30% of our gross domestic product sees a catalytic step and more than 80% of all of our manufactured goods see a catalytic step. So John being at the top of his, uh, 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 the top of the scientists in, in industry was a very important guy and he was one of the highest people uh, in science in the Exxon uh, organization. And I'd like to tell you, he even was, he won so many prizes, he was nominated for the Nobel Prize. He eventually hired me when I got out of graduate school with a PhD in physical chemistry. And um, I'd like to tell you about my theory of giants and how he fit into that. First of all, um, you may know, or maybe you don't, Isaac Newton is quoted many times as saying, when uh, people asked him, how did you do, how were you so successful uh, in developing the laws of mechanics, um, gravity, uh, calculus? And he said, uh, I, if I have seen further, it's because I stood on the shoulders of giants, people like Galileo, Copernicus, all these people who went before him. Well, uh, we all, I want to tell you that in my findings throughout my career, I feel that every one of us very often meets a giant, maybe several in the course of our life. In particular, when we get to a point that's a crossroads, when we can go left or right. And uh, those giants very often can help you make the right decision. Your only job is to listen, and to listen in a way that you understand and then think about what they say. In my case with John, who was a, a, a person who taught me, who counseled me, we published lots of papers together. He once invited me into his office and he said, Jim, I wanna say something to you. Uh, you're a very good scientist. We're doing publications together in catalytic science, but you have other skills. You have skills in leadership. You have skills in communication. And I want you to think about how you could put those together with your skills in science, because someday you're going to come to a crossroad and you're going to have to make a decision. And the more you have thought about it before then, the better off you're, you'll be. And so the reason that's important is because two years later, almost to the day, a friend of mine at Exxon approached me and he said, how would you like to start a company? And I said, wow, that'd be fantastic. And the fact that I had thought about what John had told me gave me the wherewithal to think about the risks and what we were going to go through. And in fact, I went to see him and he said, Jim, I'd love for you to stay at Exxon with me. You're doing a great job. But if you put your mind to this thing you want to do as a new company, I'm absolutely sure you can succeed. And so uh, my friend and I started a company called Catalytica, which later, uh, after some work, uh, materialized into two public companies, both of which were traded on the NASDAQ stock exchange. One of them, Catalytica Pharmaceuticals, grew to more than 2,300 people before it was sold, it was a billion dollar com company. And all of that was because John had given me the guidance to know that I could take this risky step and make it happen. And uh, so in a way, it led to my finding of my life purpose and my ability to make an impact for the better. And uh, what I'd like to say is that I have found throughout my career why this is so important. There are two things that could make a profound impact on this world in, uh, in view of some of the challenges we face right now, whether it be pandemics, climate change, nuclear proliferation, and the list goes on and on. And that is the more people who find their life purpose 
um, the better off we will be and we'll be going in that direction. It will also create a number of inspirational leaders. And that's what we need in industry and in politics. Those two, those two things could make a profound impact. And so I have many times thought about John, uh, not only as a friend, but as a guide and a counselor and how he helped change my life for the better.